Don't you do it. Don't you do it. I'm, I'm watching you right now. Okay. Okay, yeah. Just, just keep playing video games, buddy. Greetings once again, Internet. It is the one and only Romeo. Back with another episode of Romeo's Discussions. I would say that this is a, a week late or so, but uh, I'm going to talk about it anyways because now everyone has had a chance to, to see it. Uh, so spoilers are ahead. You know, they're free game at this point, so you've been warned. Uh, today I'm going to be discussing uh, the Castle Season 7 uh, premiere. Uh, there were definitely some ups and downs within the first episode. And I'm going to get straight to the point. I'll start with the pros. Uh, it's Castle. Of course we're gonna love it. Uh, the characters are all, you know, we... The characters are all back. You know, Beckett is at that stage in her life where she is... She's matured heavily since we first saw her in the first season. Uh, you know, she's getting ready to be married. You know, she's ready to not necessarily settle down, but settle down with just the man of... her. With, uh, the love of her, with the love of her life. Uh, Ryan and Esposito are, of course, back, you know, bringing their uh, bit of brotherly banter. You know, it's always good to, because I, within the series, I think that they have the best chemistry because they, they just bounce off one another. Uh, they're back, and they're also a little toned down, at least in this episode, because, granted, this is a... This is a very serious and very dramatic entrance to a to a castle series. Normally it's very lighthearted. You get that castle feeling. This does not this didn't feel like a castle episode. This felt very much like a uh, a bones or a CIS uh season starter. Mainly because Castle is missing. You know, Castle has apparently died in a fiery explosion, but we all know that it's not Castle without Nathan Fillion. So the episode begins with uh, Beckett, Ryan, Esposito, the whole wedding crew, wondering where the hell is Castle. His car is on fire, he hasn't been heard from within like a few hours, and that translates into a few weeks. They don't start seeing him for a few weeks because his body has been dragged away from the explosion. But the thing that threw me for a loop, and I think it's thrown audiences for a loop, is the fact that Castle somewhat engineered this. It seems like Castle destroyed the vehicle, or paid to have the vehicle that kidnapped him destroyed. Uh, he was spotted camping somewhere with all of his wedding gear, with all this new stuff. And for two months, they have no idea where he is. They just heard hear these little tidbits of like, he's out there and he engineered something to happen that led to this. Two months goes by, and then they finally find him. And they go for that cheap trick of, oh, he doesn't remember anything. He's got to be innocent of this, so he doesn't remember anything. They've also thrown us the fact that he could be faking this. Uh, the doctors say that he hasn't suffered from any kind of memory impairment. He could be suffering some severe trauma that is preventing him from remembering what's happening. But I don't know what it is, but Castle's performance within... The first episode, he seemed to be phoning in something. Like, he wasn't sincere enough. He kind of was just saying, oh, yeah, I, I, I don't remember. I've never done this. I, I would never camp here. And I really don't know what they're going for in this season. Is it, are we supposed to distrust Castle at this point? Because it's throwing us for a hell of a loop. I mean, I'm telling you, you know distrusting the the lead character of a show that's that's some pretty hefty stuff now I'm going to go into the cons and I would say the performances were very one-dimensional in this episode Beckett was distraught not tr very trusting of the facts that they were giving her or of Castle Ryan and Esposito were in the same boat you know they they traded a bit of banter but they were serious you two cops that just keep feeding her information and then Castle even Castle in this episode he didn't have his charm, his charisma about him. He did just come out of a coma and has possibly suffered some severe trauma, but he lacked that charisma that made him so likable. In this episode, he kind of was just phoning it in. A summary of the cons is going to have to be that it was a downer of a season opening. Normally, the season opening is supposed to, yes, be dramatic, but then leave us on a oomph note. Just bam! In your face. 
but this kind of just trinkled off into like it's kind of setting up like maybe this whole season they're gonna figure out what's happening to Castle. I really hope it's not the whole season because that's gonna be grueling. Like I wanna figure out what happens to Castle within the first five to ten episodes. If they drag this out for the whole season, it's gonna get old real quick. You know, Castle and Beckett are supposed to be married. Let's just end that sh I mean, I'm not saying that I want the series to, to end. I love the series, but the Beckett-Castle relationship needs to be just tied up. It either needs to flourish or end. I don't want it to end. I don't think any of us want it to end. They just need to stop dragging this along. Like, we've gone one season of them being in a relationship, one season of them being engaged, and now it's looking like they're setting up maybe another season of being engaged? Come on, guys. Let's let's just get to the point. We went through all of last season setting up their engagement. Let's just get them married right now. Uh, but for a season opener, it kind of was a letdown, the way they had set it up with the season finale last in uh, season six. It kind of just fell short of a lot of, of the performances, of the plot devices, and they're just throwing us for too many loops. Like, is Castle in on this? Uh, did he know about it the whole time? Did he set this up? Uh, blah, blah, blah. And it's really just making us go, what? Or at least that's just me. So those are my thoughts on uh, the season opener for Castle Season 7. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you all out there. Bye.